I look on his face, beautiful face, thorn shadowed face, by and by when I look on his face, I wish I had given him more, more, so much more, more of my life than I e'er gave before. By and by, when I look on his face, I'll wish I had given him more By and by When I look on his face I'll wish I had given him more One of the saddest words in the English language is regret. And when we stand before the Lord someday, I want there to be rewards and not regrets. How about you? We have to look ahead, think ahead to what that time will be. What will it represent? It will be the sum total of our life as it's been lived. And as Christians, since we've been saved and have had every advantage and every opportunity to do something meaningful and lasting for the cause of of Jesus Christ and for His glory. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. This is From the Shepherd to the Sheep. It's a devotional time every day. Thank you for joining us on this broadcast and thank you for inviting others as well. And I'm speaking to myself. I'm not just pointing fingers at anyone else. I know that there will be those times of, of regret at the judgment seat of Christ when we think, what could have been and should have been, but was not. It's only because of our sinfulness, our selfishness, we haven't been sensitive to the leading of the Spirit. And I want to pray today that, that that'll all be washed away and that we'll be living in the Spirit, walking in the Spirit every moment of our life so that we don't have any of those regrets at the end. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, in verse 10, it says, For we must all, that's all of the saved, appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. There'll be rewards, of course, crowns to cast at Jesus' feet, but there also might be the loss of rewards if we have not lived as we should in the light of what we know, what has been revealed to us, and what we should be by the grace of God. Now, let me just say this. Every day is a fresh page. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I want us today to make it absolutely clean that the blood of Jesus Christ restores complete fellowship. We're already justified. God already sees us through the righteousness of Christ. But in terms of our practical daily service for God, let's get clean today. Let's clean it up, all right? Let's pray. Father, I would ask right now that you restore fellowship, clean us up in terms of our sanctification. We want to confess our, our sins of neglect, our sins of, of transgression. And Lord, we've stepped over the line. We've, we've gotten down in the muck and the mire again. And Lord, forgive us for any sins that we have done, said, thought, any intention that we've had that was wrong. Lord, forgive us. And by your grace... Get us back where we should be serving you, sensitive that we might not have any regrets in that time when we stand before you. We want to hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant. With heads bowed and eyes closed, maybe you're not a Christian. Maybe you're not even saved. Right now would be the time to call on the name of the Lord. Would you pray from your heart right now and mean it? Something like this, dear God, I admit I'm lost. I need a Savior right now. I want Jesus Christ to come in my life and save me. And if you prayed that prayer earnestly and sincerely from your heart, won't you let us know that we might rejoice with you and be a help to you. Likewise, Christians, let's, 
Let's get right with God. Let's stay right. Let's keep short accounts. Let's keep confessing our sins. Let's keep being filled with the Spirit and walking by faith and walking in the light and have that fellowship and, and let's, uh, let's win people to Jesus. Let's witness today and have no regrets. Lord, I thank you that this can be a reality for us today. Grant it, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. By and by, when I look on His face, I'll wish I had given Him more. God bless you as you serve Him today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.